Have you ever wondered what it's like to ring a bell? I have. And that's why I'm here tonight, on this beautiful May evening, outside Mary Magdalene Church. I'm Isabella Wilson, reporting for the first ever Cherwell Tries, where tonight we'll be joining the Oxford University Bell Ringer Society for their weekly practice. Before the practice started, we went to look at the bells. I wondered how loud they were. Because I know little to nothing about bell ringing, I got there a bit early and they showed me the ropes. Don't, 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 don't do that. that. Just so just, just let your arms yeah. lift up. Sure. And then pull. Oh, not quite that hard. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You don't need to move your body so much. You can just let your arms do all the work. It's for hours. That's good. <laughs> yeah. We do sometimes. <laughs> Travel tonight. Two tonight. Travel to eight. So, um, why do you enjoy bell ringing so much? Um, it's just a really good way to keep your mind active and to a certain extent your body. <laughs> um, because I like the mental challenge and it sounds pretty. I started when I was seven because my parents were bell ringers yes. and I've been ringing ever since. It's one of those things where it's easy to do but it's difficult to master. I enjoy the sadistic pleasure of disturbing the people waiting at the bus stop. Yes. Trouble's going, just gone. Yeah. <laughs> After a hard evening of bell ringing, the change ringers retired to what they claim is their natural habitat, the pub. Although my performance was a bit ropey at first, I'm certain that I'd struck a chord by the end, and if they ask me back again, I'll be there with bells on. I'm Isabella Wilson, reporting for Cherwell Tries.